I'm gonna let you introduce it. Okay, the last question is, if you had a young child and you were being separated from them for the rest of your lives, what is the one piece of advice you would give them? If you don't mind, because it's segue from the last one, and I happen to have the Buddha. Do it. Uh, I have two answers, so I keep it. Sorry. But the first one uh, is what I call understanding the trifecta, which, interestingly and ironically, is uh, something I learned from a YMCA summer camp I went to as a child that was they encouraged you to focus on three aspects of your life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, he said YMCA, John was like, whoa. Cool. <laughs> what did you really learn? <laughs> no, we're going there. But no, uh, <laughs> focusing on the three uh, core aspects of life, which is your mind, body, and spirit, which I think very good. I mean, I what I've done is sort of bend it to my own sort of thing. So as far as like a spirit, I mean, to me, that means more emotional intelligence, emotional awareness, emotional strength, rather than religion, which is, I think, how it's sort of intended it at that particular camp. Uh, but I think mind, body, and emotional understanding and awareness is three keys that, uh, you know, I, I think are something that I would say, if you're going to focus on something, make sure it's these three things. And then my other one, before I pass on to Buddha, is just to always be learning. I think that's just, it, it makes your life better to always be learning. And honestly, if I'm going to be honest, I am not always good at that. I mean, I need to work on my discipline as far as always learning. Because I, you know, I get sucked into time-wasting stuff. And I really, uh, you know, I think every single time that I end up learning, I find that my life is getting better and I tend to be happier. So, yeah. Who wants it? Been grabbing the person with the most children by far. She's <laughs> got six responses. <laughs> six to nothing. No, that's Ricky Bobby said. Drive fast. <laughs> uh, to me, it's simple. Be yourself and trust your intuition. Those are things I think you can understand at a young age. And to me, it came right to mind. One of my favorite quotes, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day, thou canst not then be false to any man. Shakespeare, Hamlet. Look, says, be, if you don't love yourself and you're not comfortable being yourself and true to yourself, you're fucked. Because everybody yep. else is going <laughs> to manipulate you and twist you. And, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, what do you have? That's actually what I was going to say. I, I, bet. I was going to say, be yourself. Don't let the world dictate who you turn out to be. Yeah. You know, it's just, I think that's where a lot of people's problems come from. They're not true to who they are. They don't even know who they are on the inside. They never spent the time to really find out. They've always been so preoccupied in, oh, this is what the TV says I should dress like, or, oh, I should act like that. And they just get caught in social constructs that really don't fucking mean anything. Like, you look at the end of the day, like, stupid. But. And that relates to mine as well. And you probably expected what I would say. <laughs> it's infinite love is the only truth. Everything else is illusion. And that sums up everything. <laughs> like you guys said, love yourself. It's first. So if it's not love, it's illusion. So just... Just that one quote, you know, you won't be manipulated. You're always going to choose love in every situation. You're going to love yourself, express your authenticity. You won't be manipulated, and you'll have some higher purpose. So this gets back to the Change Anything book. But one thing I thought they said that's pretty interesting, where willpower, another reason why it's a fail, is because no matter what you're trying to improve on, so if you're trying to lose weight, trying to stop drinking, whatever it is, there's thousands of people out there working against you, whether it's you're seeing messages on TV, society, but basically anything, you're just, you're one person against legions and legions of people trying to make money off you. 
but it's dressed in a certain way, mm -hmm. wearing makeup, whatever it is, all these things, you're fighting against industries that have scientifically manipulated everything to perfection in terms of being able to manipulate your brain and your physiology and psychology. So good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why loving yourself is so crucial. Yeah. You won't fall for that bullshit. And right. that's that's a segue into the challenge, actually. Oh, that's right. Wait. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let's do that. But then, can we delve into some of the topics from our third question? Or do we want to do that first? Okay. Um, We're coming up on seventy, I think. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. Hey, well, let's do the challenge. The challenge. We want to go back again. The challenge is. It transitioned perfectly. The challenge is to look in the mirror and say, I love you. Mm. Who are you saying it to? <laughs> <laughs> so, but more specific. It, it so sounds it one time or every day? At least once. Okay. So, between over the next week. Yeah, at least once. It doesn't have to be a do. challenge, like it, Johnny trying to fuck everyone over. <laughs> <that's right. laughs> but it, it sounds corny, but it's one of the best things yeah. you can do because, like, we all said, like, that self love is the most important thing. And most people have trouble doing that, looking in the mirror and saying, I love you. Just like Bruce Willis in that Friends episode. <laughs> but it, is it really enough to just say it? Or do you have to say it and mean it? I think that's the. That's the yeah, that's I think the kicker really is to say it. So yeah. I think a lot of people, they, they, they can say it, but if you don't really have that. That feeling behind it's it looks like you're quite as much. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. If you look yourself in the eyes and say yeah. it, that's first of all, that's step yeah. one. Even if you don't mean it yet, I think that's going to generate it. some sort of. Maybe momentum. until you yeah. make it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And if you look at yourself in the eyes and say it, it's going to stimulate some sort of like emotional, spiritual response. I don't even Sean Stevenson yeah. talked about that yeah. in his podcast. Yeah. But whatever you do, don't. Forget it and accidentally walk up to someone on the street, look them in the eyes, and say, I love you. That just gets. No, that would be cool too. That would be Let's go into the taboos. Taboos. You know? That's right. Uh, know. We should be able to do that. To hug. People are too uncomfortable sometimes. Oh, actually, last week when I was leaving <laughs> a market, they were like filming news in the parking lot. So I'm like, oh, cool. So I drove by. <laughs> Right by, right by the camera and screamed, I love you! <laughs> it's the news camera. So maybe I'm on, I'm on the news screaming, I love you. I thought it was funny. I had to. Should have backed up into the picture with an infinite love message. Yeah. I don't think I had time to reverse it. And I don't want to hit the guy, you know, that'd be fucked up. I love you as I back up. <laughs> uh, so. So, before I, we wrap up, uh, just one quick thing. I mean, I think one additional topic that would be interesting for next time, just to delve deeper into one of the topics from number three here, is you guys both talked about be yourself, and well, I guess everyone sort of did in a way. But I think delving into, like, how do you be yourself and giving people advice on how we've each just figured out how to do that along our path, I think that would be interesting. Yeah. We could dive into that next episode because there's a lot to go into. Be your own authentic self. Yeah. Yep. I just whip my cock out usually. <laughs> <laughs> there I am. And that's how we ruin the episode. <laughs> <laughs> right, on that note, that's it. If you have any questions, hit us up at info at lifehackadvisors .com. And see you next week. Peace. Adios.